Why do you call it a, a crucible moment? So really a crucible is uh, a tragedy, uh, something that's very painful. It could be your fault, which largely wasn't my case. It could be uh, something that was done to you. Um, uh, you know, we mentioned earlier, I have my own podcast, Beyond the Crucible. And we've had guests who've had uh, physical crucibles, uh, you know, survivors of abandonment or abuse, illness. And so the crucibles may vary, but it's typically very a searing experience in which who you were before is never going to be the same. And so you've got a choice. You either hide under the covers and say, this was unfair, what they did to me was unspeakable, or what I did was stupid, but I was more in the what I did was stupid category. Um, and you can either just moan away the rest of your 30, 40, 50 years, and eventually we all have an expiration date. We can say, yes, what I did was wrong or stupid, or what was done to me was awful, but how can I learn from this? How can I use this? To lead a life of significance, which we call a life, all of us dedicated to serving others. So you really, you don't always have a choice about what was done to you. Even if you've made a mistake, you can't undo the mistake. But you do have a choice of how you move forward, how you move onward. And that's and sometimes it's hard to see have. that, right? If you're just really, oh. you said you were down, and I mean, how yeah. do you pull yourself out of that? Yeah.